important. There's the, let me just set you a, a, a little stall. On, on the one hand, we have the very strange sight of, for my money, and I know that this is increasingly a curse for the Conservatives, I express a degree of mild admiration for a member of the current cabinet. And within hours, they're either filmed snogging their mistress in direct contravention of uh, uh, coronavirus restrictions, or, or they, what was the last one? Who was the, what was the, who was the last one? I was, oh, Nadim Zahawi now. He's trying to sort of bring <laughs> one step down from book burning, I think, bringing in restrictions about what teachers can say to their children about politics. We touched on this last week. I said to you, some children have been told that the Prime Minister had loads and loads of parties while they couldn't even see their own nan um, and missed out on all manner of experiences that we would normally take for granted. And they were asked how they feel about that. It turns out they thought that Prime Minister was bang out of order and incredibly hypocritical. How could you not arrive at that conclusion? Answer, in a world where teachers are not allowed to ask you how you feel about the fact that the Prime Minister attended lots of parties and lied about it. And step forward, Nadim Zahawi, the last member of the Conservative Cabinet about whom I found a warm word or two, uh, and he is now seeking to police what teachers can and can't do in precisely that sort of context. If you don't want... This is a special message for Nadim Zahawi. Bing bong! Paging Nadim Zahawi. If you don't want school children to think that the Prime Minister is a massive liar and a massive hypocrite, don't have a Prime Minister who's a massive liar and a massive hypocrite. There you go, I fixed it. You don't need to start burning books or, or, or locking up teachers or having uh, arbiters of ideological purity sitting at the back of the classroom like a sort of mistrunchable de nos jour. That's simple, Mr Zahawi. If you don't want school children to believe that the Prime Minister or to consider that the Prime Minister is a massive liar and a massive hypocrite, don't have a Prime Minister who is a massive proven liar and a massive proven hypocrite. You can have that for free, all right? I'm feeling generous. It's Monday morning. By Thursday, I'd probably be invoicing you. But you can have that one for free. So anyway, the curse of 